Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Yesterday, Acting Inspector General of Police Gabo disbanded DCI Special Service Unit. And William Ruto made some remarks today in Kericho, remarks that clearly indicated he might have ordered for the disbandment of that special DCI unit. And some few hours ago, Senior Councillor Menasir Abdullahi tweeted something touching on that special unit. Amenasir Abdullahi, Senior Council. Yes. Senior Council. When I used to tell Kenyans world that former President Uhuru's government used to kill Kenyans as an official government policy, you used to think I was an alarmist. Jacob Juma was killed by this team after he left my office on that fateful day. I know who ordered his killings. His killing. That senior counsel, Abdullahi. And for somebody calling himself a senior counsel, I believe that's very reckless of him. Because since Juma died, Amen Nasir Abdullahi has not been very helpful to the investigating authorities. Why is he now saying he knows the person who killed or rather who ordered for that killing while all along he has been silent? Only yesterday, after the disbandment of, of the unit is now when he's coming out, to say he knows the person who ordered for Jacob Juma's killing. Kenyans, in one way or the other, knows the full story surrounding Jacob Juma. And even Jacob Juma himself, even before his death, he made it very clear to who or to the people who were threatening his life. That was Jacob Juma himself. And if you look at Jacob Juma, Musando, Yebei, Kenei, and now recently, Gisheru, these are things that are very emotional. And uh, I don't think the way senior counsel is trying to talk about the issue actually is worth it. And it's, it's very reckless of him just to throw such kind of reckless remarks on somebody whose family maybe are still hurting because of his death. But if you look at senior counsel's tweet properly, I believe that this is just a clever political gimmick to divert the attention of Kenyans from the failures of this government, from the low performance and performance of this William Ruto's government. The cost of living is going up. Hustlers are finding it very hard. William Ruto looking at him from the way he's talking, he does not have, he talks as if he doesn't have a solution to the current economic situation Kenyans are going through. So I believe this is just a gimmick by senior counsel and likely by William Ruto's administration because senior counsel is part of that regime. He is a very close William Ruto ally. This is just a way William Ruto's government is trying to divert attention. That's one thing I'm seeing here. And then also if you look at the disbandment of that DCI special service unit, if senior counsel and their team believe that those people were killing, then those are people who are criminals who should be prosecuted. Why are they being 
assigned a job again at the DCI headquarters. They are criminals. If at all, senior counsel believes what he's saying, then those are people who should be prosecuted. They are murderers. Why are they now being given other jobs at DCI headquarters? It actually beats logic. Mm -hmm. It beats logic in my honest opinion. So I see that as just a continuation of this clever politics by Ruto and his team to divert attention. And I'm also saying that because Ruto today again, while speaking in Kericho, eh, today and all, even yesterday, when he was also speaking in Kirinyaga, Ruto and his team are now blaming Raila Odinga for the high cost of living. Not knowing that William Ruto has been in government since 2013. This is just a continuation of Ruto's stay in government. Raila has never been in government since 2013. But Ruto listening to him today in Kericho and yesterday in Kirinyaga, he seems to be blaming Raila Odinga for the high cost of living. So I'm seeing a concerted effort by William Ruto and his team to divert attention. And this tweet by senior counsel is also just a way of diverting that attention. And I'm seeing a very disparate team who are trying to project a narrative that everything is the way it is because of Raila Odinga. Because senior counsel again, after posting that tweet, actually po he, he posted another, or rather he tweeted another tweet again, now claiming that maybe Raila and Uhuru Kenyatta <laughs> might have reported that tweet. Let me read it for you. Where is it? <laughs> yes, let me read it for you. Just. Yes, here it is. Eh? Here it is. Amenasir Abdullah Senior Council. Remnants of the Uhuru Raila handshake regime reported my tweet. And after a brief hearing, the, com the complaint was dismissed in Limine. In Limine. Limine. Then he, po he shares this. Twitter is required by German law to provide notice to users who are reported by people from Germany via the, net via the Network Enforcement Act reporting flow. We have received complaints regarding your account, Amenasir law for the following content. Then you are seeing it there. Yes. It's just that tweet he has posted. We have investigated the reported content and found that it is not subject it is not subject to removal under the Twitter rules. So senior counsel is also just trying to find a way of roping in Raila and Uru Kenyatta's name. And from this latest tweet, he is now trying to <coughs> insinuate that Raila and, Raila and Uru might have reported that tweet of his. So you are seeing just a concerted effort by this disparate regime to rope in Raila and Uru Kenyatta in their mess. They are just trying to divert attention. Let me stop it there for today. If you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. To our fans and subscribers here, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or if you want to support our channel, feel free to channel any contribution or support to the number. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you. And let me not forget to thank our fans here who have been sharing with me very crucial and important information. Information that has been also helping us in our analysis and discussion here. If you have any information you feel we can analyze and discuss here, just send it to me through my WhatsApp number. I've pinned the number on the comment section. 
the first comment. Thank you.